six foot. Oh, All right, the former world, the former new era champ. And now Cody Devine making his big, huge return. We've got a former New Era heavyweight champion in Jinsu versus a former 5280 champion in Cody Devine. That is true. Our Cody Devine is coming back from a sumo challenge from Japan where he did quite well. Looks like he's put on a couple pounds. He's never been hitting the gym these days. A well over 600 pounds. That's true, we had to get our ring reinforced just to hold beats too. Just to hold this much beef. That is true. Jutsu are uh, appreciating the adorableness of the Titan himself. Now this is a true battle of the big men. Both men feeling each other out as this match gets underway. But I will admit, Cody is doing pretty well in this lockup. Not getting shoved around or nothing, so there, there is some tribute to his strength. Well, he is every bit the man he says he is, standing a gigantic 6 foot 12. Absolutely, absolutely. It's amazing how he self identifies and he self identifies as a. as a giant! As a giant. Exactly. From Jinsu, oh, you really gotta watch yourself on that. But you're quite familiar with the impact of Jinsu. The earth shakes, the planets realign themselves at Jinsu's command. Absolutely. Oh, wow, let me crush. Cody Devine. Just Apparently he's been taking some modeling lessons from Logan. Yeah, I mean, here they have a photo shoot together. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. All of a sudden, um, apparently we have a Three Stooges routine breaking out. Whoa, Jinsu facing the size of Cody Devine. Realizing what a big, huge event that is. Disaster he avoided. Oh boy. Cody Devine's the only man that big doing drop kicks and that big. He connects with an elbow. Jimson's getting ready to take the skies, ladies and gentlemen. This is a. Wow! And again, the pool is empty. Holy plane crash, Batman. Wow. Go. Going for that. Almost an over the lights, but turned it into a German suplex. Following it up with another. Oh, June Su counter. Yep, using his lower center of gravity. And his rear hindquarters. He's a connection. He has his own breath. Turning in Sagiri. What incredible athleticism from June Su. When you think that man is grounded, he ends up taking off into the air. Definitely one of the most athletic big men in all of Colorado wrestling. I, I, and surprising and deceiving with the use of his, his ability to fly in the air. It just defies physics. Just that's, like, that's a man with over two decades of experience in the ring. Mere seconds away from one of those vicious Jinsu chops. Oh boy. They're approved by legends like Harley Race themselves. 
I don't know. I think you just gave him an idea. I don't think the kid really needs that kind of. Uh, uh oh. Oh no. Oh, oh no. you set them up. This will make you little quiver. Uh oh. Uh oh. No, no, no. After those vicious heads, but now. This is... Man, face. 
face to face. Oh, Kobe Bryant in a big forearm. Oh, trading forearms with Juice here. How is this going to turn out? Oh, the man has no back. Both those men are just chopping beef. Juju takes the bigger man off his feet. Here we go. Juju's got him set. And a ring quivering spine buster from Juju. Unbelievable. Wow, this match is definitely over, for sure. Oh, it's over when Jutsu says it's over. He's dragging him to the corner. Set, setting the drop zone up. Prepping the play. Oh, he's heading to the top. The high oh, high Championships with that match. He won the heavyweight championship with that very move. And still not let him take the biggest man in the history of New Era wrestling down. This is just incredible. How is Cody Devine finding the fortitude from that move to stay in this match? What incredible heart. Not only that, he's getting to his feet. Jutes me up. The two counts. Two counts. Amazing. I'm not sure. I didn't look at the record books if anybody's ever kicked out of the Tony Devine choke slam. He beat two big men with like that choke slam. I mean, oh, he's setting him up for the big knee. Uh oh. years we have ever faced but that's okay because the human wrecking ball is back new era wrestling is back and we are better than ever I'll see you guys next month two years two years I've waited to come back as the six foot twelve giant Cody Devine I was so honored to get in there with Junsu, and it just didn't go the way I planned. You know what, that's all right. That's okay. Better man won tonight. Later on, when I come back to New Era, things are gonna be a little different. I'm not exactly sure what that means for me yet. 
not exactly sure what that means for you. Maybe it's just time to accept that maybe the bread's gone a little stale. But above all else, above all else, I still get these goosebumps because we're here tonight. We're here at New Era Wrestling for the first time in two years. I'm getting these goosebumps because even though I lost, damn, I am so happy to be back. I'm so happy to hear those fans. I'm so happy to be surrounded by my favorite locker room in Colorado. I really am. Junsu, better man. Cody Devine, a better future. 62 pounds from Washington, D.C. He lost it in a triple threat match. Absolutely amazing. 
Jacob. Jason Novo looking to capitalize, using his size against his smaller opponent. But you know, you can't, you can never, ever discount the current reigning 52 inning champion. This is a man that's been around wrestling for well more than 15 years at this point. This is a man who has grown up in the wrestling business. For sure on that. Um, he had, he was under the tutelage. He took a lot of good advice from the big man, George B. A. Our former commentator. And God rest his soul, but I think he really listened to his advice pretty hard. The person of fans is humanoid. He doesn't believe that the fans respect him as a champion. Yeah, this is the man, Jason Knoll, who has been, he started out, he was a lightweight wrestler in his own way. He, you know, he's put on pounds, he's gained experience, he's run the roads. And now he is one of the most vicious competitors in all of New Era Wrestling. Yes, I do question his decision makings at times, but what a highly vicious champion. That's the thing about it, he's the reigning champion. He's the longest reigning 52 reigning champion. Incredible horse luck takedown from the war dog and now going to work on that arm. That just hit the black pop, the black pop down and turns it quickly into a top wrist lock. Whoa, look at that viciousness from the war dog. Really trying to punish the champion. But it doesn't matter how Damien Payne feels about you. He will put you in any type of lock and be just fine about it. I don't know, not at all. And, but the champion prevails, using his weight advantage to get on top of his smaller opponent, it starts raining down those haymakers to the side of the face of Damian Payne. Those are some powerful strikes from such a powerful individual. Now, now Jason Nolte is methodically trying to take Damian Payne apart. And realizing that he, that arm is injured, raining down those heavy weights onto his opponent. Uh, it's amazing that he can still fight after that barrage. And here comes Damian Payne, bringing back that martial art experience. As a well-trained martial artist, with years, decades even, of experience in the room. But even then, one simple move from Jason Noll puts his opponent back on his back. That was like a, watching a Vespa run into a semi. Unbelievable. Here's another take the second to collect his thoughts. Oh yeah, the big man going to the top rope. Could this be one of the prettiest, most beautiful frog splashes in all of pro wrestling? It would be devastating, but I think he's taking way too much time to get to the top. Oh, we're not capitalizing. Find himself some time to recover from that vicious assault. Willing well, to use strategy to take control of the situation. Absolutely. Oh. Now we've got them both on the top. This is uh, a game ball. Here's one of those huge current Carolina. But if Green Carolina is right now, he can be the new 52 in champion. Well placed, but almost had Jason Hall on top of him, but he's going for the cover, could be out of the champion. Let's go. Well, that is. Yeah. Going down in the under war zone for the war dog, almost next to the belt. Man, both these men, what a highly competitive match here. Damien's measuring him up. Ooh, hits him with a clothesline. Looks like he's going for another. Ooh, wow, he's staggering the champion. Oh, now, now he's bringing a bit more uh, artillery here. Oh, just oh. an aircraft gun, just capturing him. Jason lays him out, throwing him over. What an incredible throw away slam. Oh, the champion needed to hook the leg though. He might have had it then. We're not already fighting back up to his feet. Just amazing how Pat Caesar has been working his heart in the ring. No go for second ball. Let me connect. That one really took a lot out of death, the war dog. Well, think about this. He kept him close to his body. So when Noel's body impacted the ring as well, that sent a shockwave into Damian Payne that he had to have felt. 
That's clear thinking from a veteran competitor like Jason Noel. Absolutely, no one knows Jason Noel better than you. So we are former tag team champions as well. That's true. Oh, he hit the... What? He hit him with sudden death. He's not gonna be hit. Wow! And he kicked out of sudden... Nobody kicks out of sudden death! I have not seen that before. No, I, I've seen Jason Noel use that finish for well more than a decade. And I can't remember one man ever kicking out of it. No. Damien Page is in some serious trouble. And this is a dangerous place to be in with what? such a powerful competitor. I, I, this is not looking good. Yeah, the thing about it is, he, he's gotten into Jason Noel's head. Jason Noel is in an unfamiliar experience for him right now. And he, he knew he was a little before he... In a second. I'm just doing everything he can to get that big man down. Can he keep up with his offensive? We could have a new champion. There's those vicious martial art knees. Bring him, bring him down to his size. What is happening? Both men are down. Who's going to get up first? Is it going to be the champ or... A war dog. Yeah, did Damian Payne connected with that guillotine kick? Oh no, the shoulder pad, the elbow pads have come off. Now he's getting, he's going for the cover. And Jason Noel kicks out. So close to a new champ. Both men now struggling under their feet. What a highly competitive match. This is an incredible job from Jason Knoll, but the champ is in trouble. Oh no! Oh, David Rivera is in the heavy scoop on submission! Oh no! A lock and a shoulder lock. And he hit both the shoulder and the wrist. But Jason Knoll can get out of this quickly. We will have a new 52 champion. It looks like, a, it looks like it's there. Well, he's thinking about it. He's thinking about it. Is he gonna tap? Can he power out of this? Oh! There we go! It's over! But the pull of the tongue! And your winner! The natural athlete, Jason Damian Payne. But you know what? A win is a win. And no matter how bad my arm hurts, I'm still walking out the 5280 champ. As a wise man once said, win if you can, lose if you must, but always cheat. And who taught me that? Not only did Bobby the Brain Heenan teach me that, one of the greatest managers of all time, but a man who helped me see the light. A man who helped me come out of my shell and come into my own. He's no longer with us physically, but he's up there watching. And I did him proud because I listened. Finally, I listened. 
And because I listened, I have gold. And it's staying with me for a long, long time. So get used to it. <sighs> what it is, everybody? You know who I be? Your neighborhood friendly attack dog, the war dog, Damian Payne. And tonight, I just got cheated, robbed, hoodwinked, bamboozled, just flat out hoodwinked of a victory against one Jason No, you jive turkey. Grab the tight, really? I'm 5'5", five, five, 162 pounds. You are like six foot, 580 pounds. And you have to cheat against me? Were you really getting your butt whooped that bad? Where you had to cheat out of victory? Guess what? That will never happen again. Guess what? We will meet again. Guess what? I will shove my fist in this American flag so far down your throat, you will need a proctologist to get it out. Mark my words, Jason Knoll, I will see you again. And the outcome will definitely be di different. Best believe that. These marks will be hard to explain. Queen of pain, queen of pain. Ooh, I love your metal brother. You call it a cheering? If I wanted to hear muffled screams, I would have just stayed in my dungeon. Now I know you are all here tonight to see me, Daddy Doom, make my new era debut. But it's not going to happen. You need to earn the privilege of watching me wrestle. I'm still confused. 
fans, but how exciting is this? Doom seems a bit concerned for the world. I
that's a mistake. And also, it's amazing that we're live streaming this. There are people watching at home. Watching I don't know. People, people are paying for a surprise debut. <laughs> this is, yes. For one of our first live streams, they were seeing Maddie. Rep. And he got a two count. Rep met with his first ever two count? This is, this is just so... By the, end of the, by the end of this night, he might even the kiss his first girl! show and that's right you just saw me uh, lay the hurt on one Maddie scrumptious you see daddy doom didn't want to get in the ring with all this and I mean I can't blame her have you seen me I've seen me I see me every day it's it's flaming hot you see and uh, next month your simps ain't getting in the ring 
The referees? It's gonna be all legal. I don't know, I, I'm done. I'm done with this promo. It was good, and now it's not. You didn't get the pleasure of watching me wrestle Heidi Howitzer tonight, but if you behave, I may just come back and whoop her big booty. Be good, or else.